Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and you know, I, I can't, honestly, I can't believe it. We've come away with a 2-0 victory at the Etihad Stadium. This, this result, this performance, so long overdue from Arsenal and to be honest, I can't quite believe that I'm actually saying that we're coming away with a 2-0 victory against the reigning champions of the Premier League. It's you know, considering how we normally play, considering the predictable kind of football that we, you know, as fans have kind of come to expect against the likes of United, City, Liverpool, Chelsea, away from home. You know, this was so unexpected and it's the way we played, the way we, I wouldn't say we dictated the game, but we certainly had a good te tactical setup and it was refreshing for us to go into this game with a different mindset, a different analogy going into it. It was great to see Wenger mix things up and he, you know, I think it's really good of him that he didn't bring the likes of Ozil into the team just yet. He persisted with players that have continued to do well. Hector Bellerin, Sana Ryback. I mean, the whole defensive performance today, whilst I'm on that, Bellerin, Mertzaka, Monreal, Koscielny, Francis Coquelin in front, they, they worked tirelessly in this game. They were absolutely superb throughout the whole 90 minutes. They were absolutely incredible. And for someone of Hector Bellerin's age, who hasn't got the most Premier League experience, he's getting more and more of it now. He was absolutely sublime. A big game to throw him into. Dealt with the pressure really well and certainly looked like one of the better players on the pitch. But I don't really want to pick out individuals from this game because every player complimented each other. Everyone put in such a good performance. The work rate, it, it was inspired by Alexi Sanchez. Arguably, it wasn't Alexis Sanchez's best game today. I think, if I'm being brutally honest, he you know, had an under-par performance, but his work ethic is at incredibly strong, and it seemed to inspire the whole team today. Everyone tracking back, the likes of Ramsey tracking back, Olivier Giroud tracking back, back into our own box, and we defended so resiliently. It's good that we we closed City down so early in the game. I mean, we, we didn't allow them time on the ball. We didn't allow the likes of David Silva to roam centrally in the park, and we didn't... We just, uh, we just dealt with the likes of Aguero and Navas to such a good standard today. We closed them down and we played some really good football. Monreal, a uh, left back, a guy that going into the season, I didn't really regard him as one of the best players at the club. But he, you know, whilst he's playing of that standard, it's going to be really difficult for Kieran Gibbs to get back into the side, which is an, a great problem to have. That spell of centre-back seems to have done Monreal the absolute world of good, and he was absolutely fantastic today. But so was the whole back four, so was the whole team. Like I say, I don't want to pick out individuals because... Everyone was fantastic. And Francis Coquelin, you know, a couple of months ago, he was on loan at Charlton Athletic. Five games down the line there, he comes back to Arsenal record, and he seems to be solving all of our defensive midfield problems. His his passion, his drive, the I think the real, pro, the real motive with him is that he wants to prove a point. He wants to prove that he can earn a position at this club. And I said in the preview, preview of this game, that this was the big test for him, and he's certainly, certainly come through it at such an excellent standard. He's doing it on a consistent basis. I really, honestly, over any player at the moment in the Arsenal setup, I want him to be the one that achieves things the most. I want him to go on, and I want him to do well. I want him to solidify a position in the team because he's he's been through a lot, Coquelin. I mean, he's had loans at clubs, you know, where he's been played out of position, like of Freiburg, where he's been playing on the left wing, and now he's proven a point at Arsenal. And he's being allowed a good run in the team. And hopefully he keeps it up. I'm confident he will. But, I mean, Kazola, another player today, scoring a penalty, providing the assist for the, for the goal we scored by Olivier Giroud. Incredible. Every player was incredible. It's just, if we're going to play with that work ethic, we can beat anyone. I honestly feel that we can. And I don't feel that I'm overreacting. We've just gone away from home against the champions. And we've made them look ordinary. We were absolutely fantastic. And we can play like that. I know we can play like that. But a performance like that was so long overdue. We've got the players capable of doing it. It's not that if City have got, you know, some, in it, some areas of the pitch, they've got better players than us. There's no denying that. But we played like we had to win this game. We looked, we, we looked driven. We looked inspired. And it's good that we went into the game with a different, a different setup. Like I say, we went into it with a different way of thinking. And it was great to see that from Arsene Wenger. Just the fact that he's you know, there was that, always that mindset with him, that theory that he was always wanting to play the Arsenal way and it's great that he's kind of got over that and we're, play, we're adapting to the teams that we're having to face. We lined up very defensively, we caught him on the counter and the most exciting thing about today was every time we went forward, we looked dangerous. We could have scored about four today. It, we, you know, we should have scored four. We got into great positions. Ramsey should have had one. Giroud should have had another one. Matthew Flamini, when he came on, I mean, he got in the great positions to get a goal. It was incredible how many opportunities we were creating against the Premier League champions. 
It was fantastic stuff today. But let me get into the actual game itself. We lined up with a very solid team. Um, like I said, we had some inexperienced players in the back. We had Hector Bellerin start. Uh, and, you know, I did have mixed opinions on that. But I certainly think that he's earning a right to keep Callum Chambers out of the team in a moment. And the absences of Mikel Arteta and Matthew Debushi weren't even noticed today. Because Coquelin, uh, Bellerin, the players that were filling in for those, are just looking absolutely fantastic game by game by game. And it's great that we're getting so much competition in and around the squad now. And then you can bring on... Our bench today was absolutely immaculate. We had the opportunity to bring on the likes of Walker, Ozil, etc. We looked absolutely superb all round uh, in that area of the pitch today. And we started off the game, you know, I would say... I wouldn't say we started it off incredibly at a fast pace, but we set up very defensively. We had a lot of men behind the ball, which away from home was certainly the right thing to do in this game. And City, they, they uh, gave us a lot of pressure. And... You know, it's always going to be difficult trying to cope, trying to cope with the players that they've got. They've got supreme quality up time, I and mean, we saw that towards the end of the game when the likes of Mertzaka had to deal with not one, not two, but three top quality strikers in Jovetic, Dzeko, and Aguero. And we to not even concede against that. You know, this is the first time City have lost at home in the league since August. So I think we've done a really, really good job of getting something out of this game. We looked absolutely, absolutely cracking. I know I'm saying that so many times now, but it's just. Incredibly overwhelming that we've come out of this game with something. And in the 20th minute, the uh, around that mark anyway, Sandy Cazula with the penalty. Lovely bit of interplay with Monreal. Monreal going down, company, Stonewall penalty, leaving his feet trailing. Monreal went over and it was a penalty executed to perfection by Cazula. Certainly deserved that. The player that dictated this our style of play today, absolutely superb. And he's going to be keeping Mesut Ozil out of the team for a while if he continues to put in those kind of performances. And it's a real headache now because... Who plays in that centre attacking midfield role? Because in a way, are we going to have to play someone out of position? Because Cazorla, we can't drop him. He is arguably, at the moment, one of our best players, if not the best on the pitch. And then you've got Mesa Ozil, who, £42.5 million pound man sitting on the bench. I do want to see him feature heavily at some point, but it's going to be really difficult to see us drop Cazorla. I mean, are we going to have to play him out on the left-hand side? I don't know. I don't think that's going to work in our favour or, or in his favour. Whilst he's playing this kind of football, he's looking like the Cazorla that we had a couple of years ago. He looks of such a supreme quality and I just don't feel we can drop him at this moment in time. I mean we've got to find a way of integrating those players into a into a lineup where they can both have that kind of free roaming uh, presence in the middle of the pitch. So that's something to be worked on but it's great to have that kind of problem, to have those players in the squad and have a player of Cazorla's experience performing to such a high standard in such a big game for us. So. We went up 1-0 up, and from there, you know, City, I would have expected a little bit more from them. I thought you know, we dealt extremely well with whatever they threw at us, and we lined up, like I said, we did line up very defensive, and we we shut them down. That was a real, real thing. When players like Aguero had a bit of time on the ball, about three or four men would go and go and mark them down, and you know, Coughlin didn't give any players an inch. I mean, he, he was winning so many headers, so many interceptions, so many tackles. He was sublime today. He was a difference maker in... You know, in a way, he was the one that was protecting that back four to such a great standard. Ramsey as well looked a lot more disciplined in the middle of the pitch, and he was certainly providing help for Coquelin. And Ram you know, every player looks good when they put in a lot of effort, and we've got to do this on a consistent basis. I mean, players are paid five, six-figure wage sums weekly. They have to do this on a consistent basis. They have to prove to us that they're earning that money, and they've just got to show that fight, that determination. But continuing with how the game panned out, we scored again in the second half through Olivier Giroud. Couldn't quite believe my eyes that we'd gone 2-0 up. Maybe it was against a run of play. City was starting to come into that game, into the game at that point. But we were keeping them out with a very good defensive performance. Great free kick by Sandy Cazorla. Provider, um, goal scorer turns to provider. Playing it into Olivier Giroud. Great header by him. Fernando, the guilty one there, left him completely unmarked. Headed in by Giroud. 2-0, and you have to say, for the way we performed defensively, we we deserve that. We deserve this win. I come out of it feeling... I feel like we could beat anyone. I honestly do. I mean, I know, yeah, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm maybe overreacting. But if we are going to perform to that standard week in, week out, then what, what stands in our way, honestly? But then again, with Arsenal, it's a consistent thing. I mean, if we... we it really is difficult to see because we're so unpredictable. We've just got to keep it up. This could inspire us to new things. It could be a turning point for us, but we've got to keep putting the effort in week in, week out. Wenger, I mean, it was great to see that after such a lengthy amount of time, so many years losing to the big clubs, that he's changed his mindset going into these games and he's looking at the opposition and adapting the team to who we're playing. If he can do that every time that we're coming up against a big boy, every time we play any team, that he looks at the opposition a bit more and we play to 
we play to our strengths, but at the same time, we shut them down and we make sure they're having a good tactical display. And I mean, we, we only had 35% position today. It's not like we played the Arsenal way. We didn't dominate, but we played some really elegant, exciting football. City were the ones controlling the play, but they didn't do anything with the moments they had. They had about two good opportunities in this game. The most clear-cut one coming from, I think, Jovetic, but apart from that, nothing else springs to mind. They, they had possession, but they didn't do anything with it. We didn't have to pressurise them so much, because they just walking around in the middle of the park, not doing anything with it. Of course, they did miss Yaya Toro today. That's obvious. They they seem to fail to win games when he's not in their side. But that's like saying, you know, if they rely so heavily on one guy, then what does it say about them? I mean, we've got we've got people saying that we're carried by Alexis Sanders. What does it say about them when they miss Yaya Toro and they fail to get a win? You know, that's just a different point of view, but I won't dwell on that too much. Just coming out of this game, a tuna victory against the reigning champions. Absolutely incredible feeling. And we've got a massive game against Brighton next week. Absolutely buzzing for that game, to be honest. Um, hopefully we can have another cup run. And this can, this can really be the start of something new for us. The start of a march on to glory. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on our fantastic win against Manchester City. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, rate, and subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Check out my own channel, AFC Game by Game. And I will speak to you soon.